Well, welcome on board of our Sirius 35TS. Um, I'm Thorsten Schmidt, I'm the um, owner of the Sirius company and um, it's my pleasure to show you around and uh, explain you a bit about the special features of this boat. So if we are going down into the saloon, we're actually not really going down. We are not limber dancing down eight steps um, into uh, a companion way. We're just making one step over the sill and just entering the saloon and sitting down in a settee. So being in a saloon yes, is all about visibility. The basic idea of this concept is that um, most sailors like nature, so you might want to see it. We have in all the areas which you want to use over day of what is important, so everything without the cabins and without the shower cabin and the toilet, um, you have the big windows all the way around. So if you are in a galley, if you are at the Hemsman station, or if you're sitting up in a saloon here, you always can look out of the windows and this is so very important um, and it will change your kind of sailing as well so if you have competition around you might be out and tweaking on your sails but not everybody is a keen sailor and not all the family um, love sailing as, same as the skipper probably so one might sit in here after one and a half hour and just sit on cushions sit out of the sun out of the wind out of the weather and even on the passage um, this is just such a lovely place to see the miles unfold um, and um, enjoy the inside of the saloon even while sailing but also if you're on an anchorage like we at the very moment or dried out somewhere or um, in a harbor on a rainy day you enjoy the inside here like a holiday cottage um, you can actually do the same what you would do when you're at home because you have the big windows around and it's all pleasant and even if the weather's not that fair inside there's always something to see and that is the main point of the concept in a Sirius 35 ds here. So um, the settee here is a real U settee because the entrance is offset. Um, that gives you the possibility to sit opposite to each other. Um, you seat comfy five to six people here. Um, uh, you have um, a big table which can go down to make another bed if you want to have a double bed um, here but you have also a very nice single bed if you take off the cushions um, there's a lee cloth living under here which you can which you can um, uh, uh, put between the benches here which keeps you in here um, i'm using that quite often if i'm single-handed and even if i have to have a little nap over day um, i just pop down here put my handy on um, uh, on 25 minutes and when it bells i just get up and have a look out and if everything clear I have the next 25 minutes um, but it makes a very very comfy pilot berth up here if you're on watch so directly opposite of the um, uh, big settee, um, on the same level, you find the interior steering position and the chart table. Um, again, we're just one step away from the cockpit. We have the big glass hatch above us where we can see the sails and uh, the wind indicator. And we have the full visibility all the way around. So the navigation seat goes 40 centimeter up and down. So you can bring yourself into your navigation position. Um, here you will have your map in front of you, your plotter, your electronic, and the um, fly-by-wire um, steering can be taken away. And um, under here you find um, a space for your charts in here. And we have a red and white switchable light, which you can also dim down um, to have to stay in your night vision. So even if you're sitting down here, you still have the perfect view um, out of the windows and you stay very connected to the cockpit, to the crew in the cockpit. But if you bring the seat up again, um, you have the perfect 360 degree view um, all around and you can steer your boat safely um, from being in here. So if you step further forward, um, you will find yourself in the galley. And again, visibility and eye level. If I'm standing up in the galley here, somebody sitting in a saloon, um, somebody sitting at the interior steering or out in the cockpit, you're always on the same eye level. And around this eye level, the big windows are placed. So even if you are in charge of the, um, of the um, cooking, um, uh, you don't, you're not cast away. 
you stay up here and it's very social because you're together with your guests and it's very short ways um, over to the table and, um, uh, and you have all the visibility. So standing in a galley, even on a seaway, on a sea passage, you have very good handhold because you have lots of possibilities to brace yourself and the very good thing it's not a huge open room so you can even can slide through here on either tack on this side or on this side and um, and have a good bracing position everywhere here but the galley itself um, it's a very nice fit out so you have um, your hops down here with the oven underneath and the double sink um, lots of storage behind and um, and then we find lots of drawers so have a look to all the drawers here um, stuff for the galley also stuff for the helmsman position here they're all self-closing even if you jam them through or they're jammed through they will close very soft you find more storage here more storage here and always quite a surprise deep storage below the floorboards here so everything beneath here is very very easy accessible so you don't need to get all your guests up to get to the next bottle of wine um, you find them directly here um, and they stay nice cooled because this is all below the water line and it is where you want to have the weight um, you can stuff lots of food in here and lots of things in here it also goes around the corner here and more storage behind there as well so see the lids they close relatively soft and they stand upright we're not falling around and emergency supply is just here Yes, in the entrance area you find more drawers, um, one down here for things easy to grab, a very big one under here, and more storage down here, the bins, and deep storage around here. Then, quite important, directly at the entrance, um, behind the nav station, you will find the oil skin locker. Um, this locker goes all the way in to the hull, so up to here, <laughs> and it takes the oilies of at least um, six to eight um, crew, and you also get your life jackets, your rubber boots, everything down there, and that is really directly at the entrance, so you're not dripping the things through the boat. It's heated by the engine, vented to three sides, um, so this all um, stays dry and warm. Actually, you're not using it very much, um, because when it starts raining you usually close the hatch and go inside. So opposite of the navigation station we have a hidden room. Um, it's actually a workshop. You think I'm kidding? Have a look yourself. You just hold this up here. So you can step down into the man cave. Um, <laughs> Honestly, um, this is a very nice utility room. Um, you have a workbench here, a WISE, and you have all your electrics, um, all your tools, all your spare parts here. You find drawers, um, extra storage space, and a direct way to the engine. The engine is built in as the last step of production. So when everything is finished and varnished, we just get it down here and slide it backwards. So in case it should come out again, that's very easily done. Um, everything which needs access on the engine is just in front of you. Here you find the belt, um, you find the impeller pump, um, water, oil, everything around. Um, you can access the engine um, from all the sides as well. So there's a big panel which can be removed here and the big panels from the cockpit lockers and from the back. You have your filters, fuel filters, directly down here, very nice, accessible. And um, you have lots of extra space to retrofit things. Um, here's space for washing machine um, and a uh, water maker or generator or all other things you might think of retrofitting later on. Also, um, with a toolbox down here, and the big drawer here, um, you have a dedicated room for all your tools and all your spares. They are not lying between tomatoes and potatoes um, and you don't have to open 
whole of the boat um, if you do any service. It's just all down here. Because of the raised saloon, we have to totally different possibilities for the interior of the rest of the boat. Um, in fact, this boat has about six feet more internal space than you would judge from the outside dimensions. Um, the reason is we are using the widest part of the boat on about three and a half meter entirely double. You have already seen the deep storage um, under the saloon. Um, and um, we have something very special down here, so if you like to follow me. Welcome to the owner's cabin of the Zero 35 TS. Um, have a look to this room. This is not only a sleeping room, not only a bed. Um, you have a bed of 2.05 meters to 1.6 meter wide without narrowing to the end, um, with lots of room above. But um, it is actually an extra room, an extra little saloon, um, where you can at least have a hideaway and can sit out of the way of the others um, uh, for two hours, close the door. Um, you're not feeling claustrophobic because you have the big hatch, um, the windows and the windows, the view um, out to the wall. Um, this cabin is centered in the very, very center of the boat. This is where Alan MacArthur would sleep on a circumnavigation because here you have no movement. It's just in the gravity center of the boat, just above the keel, in the very middle of the boat. No slamming water like you're used from aft cabins, no rattling chain like in the back, and you can have a leak loss um, rigged up in between here, so that makes a perfect sea burst. Other than that, you have a big drawer under here, a big cupboard and the door to the ensuite toilets. The ensuite hats are also typical for serious luxury styles with lots of light and a very nice room in here. Um, lots of choices and customer relation possibilities for the wash basins. Uh, could be more sea wasy boy, higher tub, it could be electric toilet. Um, you don't get a shower in here because we have a separate shower cabin um, which makes the usability of these rooms much much better. Um, you also got lots of cupboards um, which are normally on other boats taken by the space for the um, septic tank. We have a big septic tank in front here which 140 liters. Um, so we've all the space here for cupboards where you want to have them. You sit also very near to the center of the boat so you have relatively little motion and you can brace yourself in a sea way. You sit facing backwards and um, yeah it makes a very nice combination of style and usability. But one of the nicest um, uh, features of design here is um, uh, this hats are ensued for both of the cabins. So whether you're coming from the front cabin or from the owner's cabin, you have your own separate entrance into the hats and of course can lock the doors to the other side so you don't need to go through the open space in your night ground if you go to the toilet at night. In the front of the boat you find another owner's cabin. It's actually a very spacious room. Um, you have lots of light through the hatches and the windows, um, lots of room to move around and it's a very luxurious bed so it's actually difficult to decide. Um, you've seen the uh, owner's cabin before. Um, some people use this as an owner's cabin, which means if you have your mother-in-law or good friends on board, you don't have to move out your own cabin to leave them the good cabin. Um, they're actually equal. Um, on both cabins you have the ensuite toilet rooms and hats and this cabin have lots of space. You have a place to sit to put your socks and feet on. Um, you have a big cupboard and you have huge doors under here. They are 70 centimeters deep and are much nicer to organize than cupboards. On the starboard side, opposite uh, of the hats and the owner's cabin, you have a separate shower cabin. I guess this is the only way to use a shower on board really properly on a daily base um, because while you both of you are getting up, one can use the hats and the other one can use the shower. This is a total enclosed um, GRP structure, um, so it's very easy to clean. You have full standing height up here, um, but you might also like to sit down and make good use of the space here as well. Um, the funny thing might, is, might, might um, appear to you, uh, what the door we have opened um, in the first place is it looks like the shower cabin door, but it really is the front cabin door. Um, this is just a storage space for the front cabin door, because doors get in your way over day and you want to have the ventilation area. The real shower cabin door is the one inside here, and this closes this direction and it's held by magnets. So, after taking a shower, you just open the hatch 
and after about 15 minutes, 20 minutes, depending on the wind, it's all dry in here and it's very, very little maintenance to clean it. Thank you for watching um, the video. If you like to have more information, just give us a call or send us an email. you find more pictures and lots of more things to explore on our website at www.sirius-werft. That's W-E-R-F-T dot D-E. Bye.